Hello everyone. Welcome to the Wine Review. I'm Ryan the Wine Guy, bringing you a wine from Argentina tonight. It is going to be from Trapeche. It is going to be an Oak Cask Malbec 2014 Vintage. Looking at around 14% alcohol by volume. Produced and bottled by Bodegas Trapeche out of Mendoza, Argentina. Imported by Universal Wine Network out of Livermore, California. Trapeche Oak Cask is elaborated with grapes sourced from the foothills of the Andes Mountains where the combination of the altitude and generous sunshine produces concentrated aromatic fruit. The aging in oak barrels during nine months adds finesse, harmony, and complexity. A Malbec with beautiful deep red color with violet hues, sweet aromas of blackberries and plums, with an elegant touch of smoke and vanilla, velvety textured, a sweet long aftertaste. Ideal to serve with cheeses, red meat, mushrooms, stew, and a typical Argentinian asado. Many of you uh, might remember that I did another one from Trapeche. It was their uh, broke hell. Uh, again, another Malbec that was a, a very uh, highly aged uh, wine. Uh, another very good wine. Um, and so this is kind of a more, uh, one of their lower ends. But overall, uh, I like their company. They do well. This is Oak Cask. So... Uh, which I pref which I really I really just love uh, my reds to be oaked. I love that smokiness. I love that vanilla. I love the chocolate. I love the smooth texture um, that the oak gives off. So really excited to try this uh, Malbec out of Mendoza, um, Argentina. So um, show you what the uh, bottle looks like. Get an idea of what's in the glass. And um, see what it's doing on the nose. Wow. It just it just opens up nicely with these blackberries. This plum, uh, this really nice toasty oak. You get this like smokiness on it, sort of like a leather. Uh, you get the, the nice vanilla that is really noticeable on the nose. I would say small teeny hints of blueberries. Just a small tad of blueberries. Maybe in some cocoa. Just a, a very lively wine. Uh, it, it's just full of aroma. The, a very uh, aromatic wine. It, it is nothing that you really uh, would not be able to uh, pick up. Like you would be able to pick up almost anything that you can set your mind to. Uh, spices, you know, that black pepper. Mm. Wow. Oh, man, it is. It is. Oh, boy. Uh, I can just. It, it smells great already. I, I can only imagine uh, how it's going to taste. Uh, so let's give it a, let's give it a little sip. Oh man. Oh 
my gosh. It is a nice, really. It is just bursting in your mouth with flavor. It is just nice, juicy, juicy wine. And you've got those blackberries. You've got that nice plum, black cherry, which, you know, I even do get that on the nose now after a. Uh, now after I get that black cherry in the mouth, I'm getting it, I'm getting on the nose, and it's just a nice, just plump fruit in the mouth, and then you've got that sweet vanilla on it, you've got this like sort of toastiness on it, that oak, you've got a little bit of smokiness, you've got spice, you've got that uh, black pepper that's now, uh, Finishing it off, so you've got that uh, kind of that spice kick at the end there. Uh, nothing overly too bitter, but just enough to be like, mmm, pat. Like this is this is great. Um, wow. Jeez, this is definitely. This is a this is like great. Um, I I, I would uh, say. Sorry, there's something going on upstairs or outside. Some like banging noises. Uh, this I would, I would give this a hmm, man. Again, you know, uh, I I want to give this a four and a half, four and a half out of five. Uh, it's two years. Uh, so I, I definitely feel like this could definitely, uh, sit around for another more couple years. And, you know, that, that's why sometimes I also based off of when I give something a four and a half versus five. Um, if I feel that it's at its best potential, then it can't get any better. I would give it a five. So remember, I, ideally this is a perfect five, but I think in three more years from now, it it would be it would be spot on, you know. 2014 it already has two years on it. Uh, give it another three years, um, make it five years total. Then yeah, I would say I would say this would have reached its peak potential. Uh, maybe you can even go one more year after, but uh, four to five stars. Um, because I do think this could age a couple more years. Um, if it, if this maybe had had been a um, twelve or thirteen, I would say it has potential. But it, it is just it is it is just a baby. It is it is starting to uh, walk. It's starting to talk. Uh, but you know what? It hasn't learned to curse yet. So uh, that's that's definitely something. In another three years, I would say, would give that four and a half up to a five. So, very good stuff. It's just, you know, and, and you know, last minute notes, I'm sort of getting this like, uh, this sort of like velvety note on it. I want to say maybe like a little lavenderish, Kind of like a uh, slight rose petal maybe. Then, yeah, just a nice, smooth, juicy, fruity mouth, plump full. But then you get, just really, then you get that sweet oak on it. I find a vanilla. Maybe, maybe now that I've had another couple sips, slight little kind of like an espresso, espresso, um, uh, smoothness on there and then yeah you get those nice uh, black pepper uh, s spices that are just uh, just so right that it's not it's not bitter by any means but it definitely gives you that nice um, tingling uh, spicy finish 
uh, our semi-spicy finish. So, good stuff. Um, yeah, it would be interesting to see because they, they make um, an oak cask Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, which also their Brokel makes as well. So, uh, I'll, I'll, I think in the next um, next month and even into the new year, I'll be trying at least one or two more wines from Trapiche. You know, I mean, I've uh, definitely have now found wines, vineyards, wineries that I really enjoy reviewing and I want to continue to review. Of course, I'll always try to find something new, but, you know, eventually you can only come down to where you've tried so many that you can't really help but have a wine at least from the same uh, vineyard or from the same company that imports it. So, bottle one more time for you all. And um, their Cabernet Sauvignon looks almost exactly like this, although it says Cabernet Sauvignon on it. So be sure when you're looking at this, you're looking for the Malbec Oak Cast. They also have uh, ones that are completely oak-free. So you really won't be getting much of a um, uh, vanilla kick or a huge spice kick. Uh, you, you might get maybe a spice kick, but you really will not get a smooth vanilla. You'll get a real nice, um, just dry, sort of uh, as it is kind of wine if you're going to get the fully, uh, I know, because it's going to be more like, uh, uh, more with fruit, probably a little bit more jammy, more grip on it. Um, this one, I would say, has like a slight little grip. It, it's not, it doesn't like, uh, really grab your tongue and it doesn't really stick in your uh, gums so it's not like a, a huge DM but you know it's definitely just more of a nice uh, dry uh, spice aftertaste that uh, definitely has some good flavor in it so I'll be sure to try this out at your local, local liquor store uh, probably can find it around $10.99 uh, maybe $9.99 or even $8.99 on sale um, at the most expensive, eleven ninety nine. But you know, you're looking. It's definitely an under fifteen dollar wine. So you're looking at between ten to fifteen. Uh, so definitely, definitely something to be on the lookout when you're shopping at your uh, liquor store. So uh, until next time, I'm coming up probably again on Sunday. Uh, I've got a few more wines left before I have to go shopping again. So I have to decide. If I want to do another imported wine on Sunday, or if I want to keep it local, uh, I'll be the I'll let you all be the judge of that. I've got two Australian wines, a Spanish wine, uh, two uh, wines from California, and then I've got one more uh, Spanish Sauvignon Blanc. But I'll say that for uh, not this Sunday, but the Sunday, uh, the Sunday after our. Uh, two Sundays after. Uh, I, I want to do it after. Actually no. It would be. It would be the Sunday after. Yeah I want to do it after Thanksgiving. So not this Sunday. But the Sunday after. So let me know if you want to do Spanish red. Australian red. Or California red. Uh, coming up Sunday. Uh, YouTube users feel free to. Comment as well. Well until next time. I am Ryan the Wine Guy. Cheers.